Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to do split screens in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a really creative use to show multiple scenes at one time and just, yeah, it's a really cool effect to show like both worlds at a time. So I will be showing you a few techniques to create this effect so you can do whatever you want in your own creative way. So without further ado, let's open up Premiere Pro and get started. Premiere Pro and let's take a look on how to create split screens. So I'll create a new sequence right here and I'll rename this to main sequence. And first of all, what I want to do is make sure that we have essential graphics right here. So go to window essential graphics, uh, which is right here and just make sure that it's somewhere on your screen so you can use that. Um, okay, so I will create a new item right here and I'll create a color mat. I'll click OK and make sure that that color mat is white and click OK and OK. Then we're going to drag that color mat in here uh, on the first layer of our video. So we'll make this a little bit longer. And now we just have a white background in our program monitor. OK, so now we can start and drawing uh, a line to actually split our screen. So I will click on the pen tool right here and I will click and create a split screen. So let's just make a stripe. So click over here and then you click somewhere on your screen. But as you can see, you can't hold shift. And this is still something that they should be uh, updating that you can actually snap to a straight line, uh, which you can't do in here, unfortunately. So just make sure that uh, you can actually see these kind of bending effects on the line. Just make sure that it's a complete straight line. You can actually just slightly drag it and you'll see that uh, once it's completely straight. So this is completely straight. Okay, so there we go. This should be entirely straight. And then we're going to create a new dot right here. Just put it also next to it right here. And then create another one. And drag this one over here and just make sure that this one is straight as well. Okay, so now we have our line. Then go over here and click on the shape and right here I'm going to uncheck the set scale lock right here. We can change this if you lower this number it's just going to make it a little bit thinner and then over here you can make it longer if you want to. So there we go we have our straight line and then of course you can position this to the left so we actually have a straight line entirely right over here. You can change the uh, program monitor to 25% so you can actually see your entire screen and we're actually going to move it a little bit more to the side and a little bit longer like so. So now we have our first line and of course you can reposition it uh, the way you want it to be. So uh, maybe we want one right here but just move it a little bit more to the right and then we're going to click on the shape tool and actually just right click duplicate it and rename this one to shape 02. And for the second shape we want to change it like 90 degrees and also reposition this like so and let's see what we have here. Okay, so it's not entirely in position, so what we want to do is move it just a little bit to the right, so it's actually overlapping the other line. And there we go, so now we have a split screen right over here. Also, what you can do is click on shape 01 right here and just make sure that it's centered. You can click on this first vertical center and that's going to make it perfectly in the center right here. Okay, so we have our lines, now we want to add our video. So, um, I'm just going to get to the beginning of our timeline, actually zoom in a little bit. So right here we have this essential graphic layer. We're actually going to make it as long as we want it to be. So uh, a few seconds long, just make it as long as you want. And there we go. Now we have the color mat, we can delete it. And the only reason I created that was to actually have reference for our graphics right here to, uh, create, these, um, to create these lines. So I have three videos. What I will do is just drag in all of these videos and actually I'm going to click on the video and only import the videos. I'm going to click on my lines and actually put it one uh, layer above so we still have a few, um, well, so that we have space left for the other videos. Just stack them up right here. And there we go. Zoom in all the way you want to and we're actually going to cut the rest of the graphic and as you can see right now this is what we have. So we have the first video and maybe we want to reposition this one right over here. So what we can do is go to the effects controls, click on the position and reposition this right here. Play with the scale uh, to make it a little bit smaller. You can also click on motion and just uh, drag it like uh, right here. 
and then just position it the way you want it to be. So maybe we want it to be visible like this. And now what you want to do is, or you can move it a little bit more to the right, like so. And now you have a few options. You can use the pen tool right here in the opacity, or you can go to effects, transitions, and pick the linear wipe and drag this on top of your video. And then just the completion, you can play with that number and just change the wipe angle to zero and then just uh, play with it until it's actually cut off at the line. So right here we have our first video, then we have the second one right here. It's actually a dude walking. So what I will do is click on the motion right here and just move it uh, right over here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger as well. And there we have our guy walking in our shot. And also you can apply the linear wipe effect and just make this a little bit bigger and just minus 90. And then just play until it's cut off as well. And there we have it. And now we have our last video right here. Click on the motion and just reposition this as well. Um, make it smaller. And actually this one you don't really need to cut off because it's actually behind all the other videos and you're not going to notice uh, the, the rest of the video right here. So another way to cut off your video if you don't have linear wipe, just as a demonstration, let's delete this one for example. Uh, you can change it to 25%. Click on the opacity and click over here on the uh, create four point polygon mask. If you click on that, you can click on one of these dots, select both of these, move these to the right, click on one of these, select these two, move it to the right, select the top two, move them up and the bottom two right here and move them down just until um, you're at the exact same position right here. So that's another way you could do it. Um, depending on the lines you have, this might come in handy. So there you go, you have your shot, uh, we can actually play a little bit more with the video 2 right here. Okay, and let's say you want to change it up a little bit, what you can do is uh, hold, uh, well, press C on the keyboard, click over here and go back to the graphics and maybe this time you want to go into the essential graphics and just delete uh, the second shape right here. So right click, remove this, clear, click on shape 01 and just reposition this so it's actually covering the entire screen like so. And then we can trim this video down just until we have this new cut. And now we only have like two split screens. Click on this video, also cut these two and just reposition them. So go to the effects controls, click on motion and reposition this one right over here. Also make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. And actually for the mask feather, we want to change this to zero so we don't have any kind of feathering going on. Okay, and then the last video right here, motion, also reposition this, make it a little bit bigger, and there we go. Okay, pretty cool, so I'm also going to cut these at the end here, and then we already have our split screen, so you can go as creative as you want in here, um, but yeah, this is basically how to work with split screens in Adobe Premiere Pro. I actually noticed that this video isn't at the exact right position right here. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more, and be sure to check that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. And apart from that, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists like packs, templates and really cool stuff. Check it out. Links will be in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.